In today's video, we'll be going over what does Jim Rohn say about personal growth? And is it even relevant today? What would it look like if Jim Rohn was alive today? Let's get into it. Hey, how's it going? My name is Juan Alvarado, where I go over personal and professional development, making you a better leader. Now let's get into it. So Jim Rohn talks about these three parts of personal development. He talks about spiritual, physical, and mental. And he goes over these three, these three parts in his success series. He says, to have more than what you've got, you have to become more than you are. In order to have change, in order to have an added benefit, in, ed in order to have something bigger and better, something has to change. Two plus two will always be four unless we change the value or our value to three. Two plus three is five, so now we have more or we understand how to change the problem. Two times three is six. So we can compound or have more if we can change our value and if we can change our problems. In my journey, I could not have what I have today if I wasn't in alignment. When I find that my biggest struggles happen, it's because I'm not in alignment. As someone who is a veteran in the United States military, when I was deployed or in boot camp, they taught us how to shoot. And so I kind of want to take that into, into play with you. There was the front sight post and the rear sight aperture. The thing in the back and the thing in the front of a rifle and my eye. And until those things got lined up, then we could take our shot. I could not take my shot if my rear sight was up here and my front sight post was down here and my eye was over here, that's blind shooting. So in order to hit our target, it has to line up. Alignment. If you are having problems with alignment, or, or should I say, if you're having problems hitting your target, it's probably because you're not aligned. So this is the lesson that I want you to take from today. In, in my turning point, the moment that I went from living paycheck to paycheck, to being stable and to being successful, going from driving a Toyota to driving a Tesla, to going from driving a minivan to a Yukon, and where I live now is better than where I lived before. And who's not to say I'm gonna go from these things to these bigger things, but this is the part that I want you to think about. That change happened when my thought process changed, and two, that change happened because there was a change to alignment. I wrote down my daily schedule, I wrote down my values, and I wrote down my goals. It was just, I was just doing a brain dump. I was just saying, this is the things I wanna do this year, this stuff I wanna get done this week, and this, this, and this. And then I started thinking, what do I, what's most important in my life? And so I started to think, as somebody who has a faith background, I was like, you know, God, my wife, my kids, and my family, and this, and that, and I started putting things in order. And then some, I had something planned the following day, and so I started to do my daily schedule. And I, what I came to find out was that when I wrote these things on three different pieces of paper, when they were aligned, they didn't match up. The things that I did in my daily, on the daily, my daily schedule, did not match my goals and did not match my value system. I started to listen to all these motivational speakers to tell me to wake up early and wake up at before me and before everybody else at 3.15 or three o'clock in the morning, go grind, 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 grind and work hard and work hard and work hard and grind hard and this and this and that. There was a simple change, but the drastic change came when I started to write these things out and the alignment. Because my grind hard, my grind wake up at three was going to the gym, was taking care of me and not taking care of we, my family. It was all selfish. It was all me, 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 and had other people to think about. And so I started to look at what are my goals? My goals were to make a certain amount, to drive something, to move, uh, to get better and all, these, and all these different things. And then I had my daily schedule. Gym, me, get ready, me, make my food, me, go to work, me, come home, eat, me, and then watch TV, what I wanted to watch, me. Where was God, where was wife, where was family? So not until I lined up my daily schedule to my goals, to my values, that things start to switch. And so once I started to think smarter and put down and write down all my goals, all my values and my schedule and it lined up, I got to take my shot. And that's where success happened. So when Jim Rohn talks about getting into your, your spiritual, physical and mental, he's talking about alignment. 
He talks about in other, in other books that you have to understand how life works. You have to know the law of attraction. So he's got a book about that and the laws of success. But none of that sits on its own. They all stack on top of each other. And in order to go from one step to the next, you must start getting alignment. So your homework today is to make sure that you are aligned. Write down your goals, write down your values or your priorities, and then write down your daily schedule and you'll start to see where things are missing. If you wanna get better and turn the page and become successful, you need alignment first. And the last thing, if you've gotten value out of this video, go ahead and click that like or subscribe button and help us get to the next level with your help and support. So if you've gotten value, click that like button, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you on the next video. Make sure that you click on one of these two videos. It will help you get to the next step in your journey to success. Let's go get it.